What's up gamers? Aaron Connick back with you for another retro rerun. Today we are going to be playing one of my all-time favorite PS1 era games. We're talking about Twisted Metal. Now I don't know about you guys, uh, everybody's got uh, different uh, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve plans, but my plans today are going to include uh, electrocuting fools and committing uh, general just Grand Theft Auto and uh, and doing lots of disgusting stuff. This is actually one of the best games of the era, in my opinion. You, you get the combination of vehicle combat combined with some really cool storylines. It's, it's a pretty dark game, but it was something where I, I felt really kind of drawn into the game storyline. I wanted to see the endings with all the different characters that we're going to go through here in a second. But uh, for those of you who haven't played, I actually didn't like a lot of the uh, the later Twisted Metal games. Uh, Twisted Metal Black for the PS2 was probably the most popular. Was not a fan of that, but I think the early PS1 games uh, were phenomenal. I know 1 and 2 were some of the best games ever. So why don't we jump in? Let's see uh, who our, our, our demented choices are. Uh, so personally, some of my favorites... Oh, we got Thumper. I remember he had the uh, the flamethrower. Crimson Fury is one of my favorites. He's, he's one of the strongest ones. Do not like Pit Viper or Warthog. Mr. Grimm, that's probably who we're going to go to. But Spectre, I think, is going to be our choice for today. So Spectre... Uh, one of the faster cars in the game, but has this ridiculous special attack where he fires a missile that goes completely off screen and homes into anywhere in the stage. Uh, was just an absolutely ridiculous character and was probably my favorite growing up. So we're going to try our luck. Uh, our, our first level is going to be the Arena Duel. Now, uh, I haven't played this game in a while, so we're going to uh, get used to some of the uh, controls. But you can see you've got uh, special attacks, you've got missiles that we can alternate between. So we've got forward, back, oh, see, just all kinds of stuff. So we are going to be in the arena, dueling it out. Now, one of the popular strategies, as you'll see in this game, was basically to uh, turtle up in the corner. And, uh, all right, we're going to go special mode. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Thumper doing work. There we go. All right, so we got some fire. See, we're just gonna start spamming off these missiles. This is a game where there is a, uh, a good amount of chaos just going throughout the level. And later you will see this level gets uh, gets reused as we fight uh, the, the, f the fan favorite boss of the series, Thumper, or not Thumper, I'm sorry, uh, Minion. Minion is a giant tank. Uh-oh. So we lost. So we're we're getting used to the controls. Let's let's uh let's lean pretty heavily on our special attack. So we're just gonna fire it off. You can see it just does all kinds of work. Hones in anywhere. Let's switch to our fire missiles, and we're just gonna spam. Machine gun, pretty ineffective in this game. You really want the missiles or the special weapons. Uh, they do have some respawn times. Oh, there we go. We got some mines. Let's leave some mines for our friend Thumper. And again, his special attack completely busted. Because you can fire basically anywhere on screen. Just fire and forget. My kind of attack. So Thumper getting worked over. You can see the kind of damage it does. You can see his health bar on screen. I think we just go toe to toe. I know he's gonna. He's probably going to uh, flamethrower us at some point. But it seems to be working so far. So the only thing the machine gun is really good for is this is how you get the uh, the pickup items. So let's see if we can uh, finish our friend off. Let's switch to our... Oh, there we go. We got the homing missiles. Alright, we're just going to spam these, uh, these fire missiles and hope that that gets us there. Fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got the flamethrower. We're going to lean on our trusty special attack. See, I, I, I'm looking the complete opposite direction, but it's going to get me there. I just feel it. There we go. Thumper down. All right, so we're through the first stage. So after the first stage, it opens up a little bit more. You can see every level you go to, it's scale. So we're going to meet our opponents, Mr. Grimm, Warthog, and uh, the, the other one that I never liked. All right, so this is where the game, in my mind, really gets fun. It opens up. So Warthog doing some good damage. Uh, so this is a type of level where you really, you've really got to take advantage of your abilities. 
special attack finds always gets there will always find somebody mr grim uh he is his special attack is also ridiculous but it's, it has to be very close range for it to actually work whereas mine pretty much will find a target at some point given enough time so we got pit viper lurking around the corner we just need to find some action there we go so we found uh these recharge your health uh very valuable they will respawn uh as you give them enough time so definitely just need to uh to manage our life make sure we don't die mr grimm's special attack is definitely the one that's going to put us in the most danger as it, if it gets close to you and lands that's probably half of your life uh-oh i hear mr grimm just bystanders getting splatted all over the place so let's switch to our homing just doing work spam out our minds so you can't follow us and at this point really your strategy uh, when you're playing with specter you just want to buy yourself enough time you want to get some of the premium weapons the homing missiles are, are outstanding but you really want to get missiles and just kind of run and gun with him. Uh, just can't stand toe to toe very well with anybody. So we're gonna we're gonna chase down Mr. Grimm and hope that uh, his flaming skull attack does not destroy us, because it is definitely the most dangerous special attack. All right, let's see who we can find. Uh, we are also getting a little bit low on health at this point, so we're gonna see if we can uh, get one of the respawning health things. Uh oh, we got Warthog. See now you can see. Mr. Grimm is not somebody we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with easily. So I see him around this corner, but let's go uh, up. There's Pit Viper. Lay ourselves some mines. And let's fire off our special attacks, because we can, and they are absolutely the easiest way to win in this game. Here we go. So we found uh, the second, I think of two. I think there are only the two in this level. All right, so we gotta get away from Warthog, but we're doing well. Let's see if we can freeze him. Perfect, so. Gotta get out of here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He got us. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. The good thing about this game, as you can see, is it doesn't completely restart the level. You can use your lives. Uh, to kind of whittle people down. If you die, you get back in the action. Uh, with, I think it does recharge part of the damage, but uh, we're going to get him this time. So we're going to go after, see if we can get Mr. Grimm first. I don't want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but if I see him driving away, I can just start pinging him with the fire missiles. So let's see who we can find. I hear somebody. Mr. Grimm is one of those characters where you really just want to camp around a corner where somebody's got to come after you. All right, so we're going to turn around, see if we can go toe-to-toe. Uh-oh. Run away! See, the missile looks like it's going off into nowhere, but that is not the case. Uh -oh. So see, we got to get away from Mr. Grimm. That is not a guy we want to sit around with. Warthog also has a very good special attack in that uh, he fires multiple homing missiles. Doesn't have the quite the same lock on that Spectre stuff does, but very, very effective special weapon as well. All right, let's see if we can catch somebody coming around the corner. All right, so we're getting close. We're whittling them down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're getting, we're taking some hits. All right, let's see if we can uh, See if any of these have recharged. Uh oh. Lay some mines. And let's go to work with the special attacks. Spectre's attack, just absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's see. I think I, I hear somebody on our tail. Let's see if we can get through this without dying. No, we cannot. Pit Viper takes us down. All right, so let's see if we can try this one again. So there you can see we took some damage. All right, so let's try with a new character. Let's uh, we, we went with the finesse character last time. So why don't we why don't we go with the big boy? Let's go Hammerhead. This is my big pick 'em up truck. 
80 inch wheels this seems like my kind of character right i did not play him a ton but we're going to see if we can make this happen all i remember is you speed up and just run dudes over so uh this is definitely my kind of character reminds me a lot of minion all right warthog we're coming for you there we go just tag him all right so we're gonna go to the there we go just i like this guy all right, so let's see. The maneuvering, definitely not quite what it was with Spectre, but we just need to get, uh, go full speed and just run him over. All right, so let's line him up, see what we can get here. The nice part is the vehicle is so tall that when you jump over uh, a lot of these ramps, you're able to collect a lot of those power-ups that are normally out of reach. All right, so we got our power-ups, so we got our specials charged up, so let's see what we can do with this guy. Just want to line them up. There we go. Just running them over. Do it. All right. So we're going to take a couple missiles. All we need is one good uh, special attack to finish it off, I think. There you go. Boom. Just doing work. Yeah, I, I think we've found a, a pretty viable strategy for playing old Hammerhead. There we go. All right. So this is our new character. Spectre, you're dead to me. You have a nice missile. But I'm just running dudes over with Hammerhead, so I, I think we can make this happen. All right, so we're back with the same three opponents. Uh, Mr. Grimm's going to be a good one. This was always a good matchup for Hammerhead. Uh, Mr. Grimm, very high damage output, but cannot take. Just taking 80-inch tires to the face. So let's see if we can hunt him down. I do need to be using my machine gun more. It, it, it's not great, but certainly with this kind of character, when you're, you know, it doesn't cost you anything. When you're just doing, uh, when you're just trying to line up a straight attack, the gun is much more effective. Now it does, you you can't just spam it endlessly. There is a cooldown period after a certain amount of time. But oh, there we go, just doing work. Just line them up and just run them over. All right, so we got to be careful though because uh, Mr. Grimm also has a, an attack that wants to line us up. And his, his skull attack is very very good. Oh, just fish in a barrel. It's so good. All right, so Warthog's going down pretty quick, I have a feeling. All right, let's get these fire missiles lined up. And I think that is going to be all she wrote. Now, after we take this guy down, we need to go find our first of, uh, of two places where we can gain a little bit of life back. We have taken quite a few hits. Yeah, Mr. Grimm, perfect. Perfectly lined up. So let's see if we can go for the combo play. One of the things that uh, that Twisted Metal 2 introduced that I thought was really cool was that it introduced the, you could do different button combinations and you could use part of your life meter to use ice attacks and things like that that weren't dependent on you having an item. Uh, doesn't have that in this game, but that was always a fun combination to be able to try and freeze an opponent and then line them up for the kill. Definitely effective with Mr. Grimm, but uh, we'll see what we can make happen. Now he's going to be able to escape us. But we're going to find him. All we need is one good special, and I think we're going to get there. Now, the only downside of this game is as the levels get bigger and the enemy count gets smaller, uh, sometimes the action... All right, coming for you, Mr. Grimm. Let's do this. All right. Don't have much turbo, but I think we got everything we need. All right, he is just uh, not coming towards me. Oh, I think we see uh, Pit Viper. All right, she's not going to last long toe to toe with me. Boom! Right in the grill. All right, so we just need to not die from Mr. Grimm's skull attack, and I think we're going to get there. Pit Viper is down. Let's see if we can find uh, our second life station. I think that's going to help us. Because as I mentioned earlier, if you take a hit to the face from uh, Mr. Grimm's special attack, you are not going to walk away. I can hear him around us, but uh, he does have the speed advantage over the giant pick -em up truck. All right, I hear him somewhere around the corner. I think this is where our second power-up is. Here we go. All right, so now I'm going to feel better. We're going to be able 
to at least take a special attack. I think he's right behind us. Oh, he's got the freeze, so we're going to have to turn around and line up this special attack. I think if we can make that happen, just, just spam him out with the special. I, I, I feel it. Bam! That's what you do. You just run him over with your giant truck tires. I don't know why I didn't figure this out so many years ago. It took me this long to figure this out. Uh, so we're going to go into the, uh, the next level. Uh, and I think we'll get through part of this. So Yellow Jack was a fun one. So he creates uh, electricity all around him. We're at our max carrying capacity. But again, he's, look at how much damage this does. This is ridiculous. Just nobody, nobody's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hammerhead. All right, so I don't know if I pushed him through the wall at this point, but uh, it seemed pretty effective, whatever I did. So let's go... Oh, we got 16 fire missiles. Okay, we just need to line... All right, so we got Sweet Tooth, who I would say was definitely the uh, the poster boy of this game when it came out. Sweet Tooth, I think, was the most endearing character that I think when people think of Twisted Metal, they absolutely think of Sweet Tooth. All right, so we're at max capacity again, but we got some sweet items. So let us just get charged up so we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. Get back in the action. And we have the springboard, okay. All right, we're even even the, the huge truck, you can see we're just ragdolling them around. So let's see if we can get out of there, get our, uh, get our good items back. But I think if we can just line up a couple more hits, we should get there. Uh, I think there was a second. We may lose one of our lives here because we're at a pretty low life relative. And Dark Side is the other big boy in this game uh, who can deal out some damage. Uh, this is a pretty linear level. There are different paths, but all right, sir. So let's see. I think we're going to be able to take him out. There we go. So one down. So that's our biggest threat that's off the table now. So now we're going to line up. We got Spectre, you're gonna see how much damage he takes. That's just ridiculous. Alright, let's see what we can do. I like the ooh yeah, macho man style. Alright, let's see if we can chase after uh, Spectre. You can see what his uh, special attack does, but just just cannot stand up to it. Truck to the grill. We gotta get out of there and get some life though. All right, Sweet Tooth is chasing us down. He has the Flaming Ice Cream Cone, which in my opinion is one of the worst special moves in the game. Doesn't do the damage output that Mr. Grimm does and takes a while to line up because it only goes in a straight line. So let's see what we can do if we can chase him. Yeah, the music in this game is pretty cool. It's just rock music, but uh, and it, it's kind of on a loop at all times. But I definitely remember that being one of the highlights of this game. It kind of gets you in the mood. All right. So let's see if we can take one more guy down. Oh, I, see, I hear Spectre. Here we go. Let's do it. Pick him up truck time. All we need to do is line up. One. Oh, we're going to get both. We're going to get it all if we don't die first. Come on, get in the game. All right, so Spectre was able to pick us off. So we're going to bring this video to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, would love to hear what your favorite characters are. This was a pretty popular game, so I'm sure many of you have played it. Uh, but with that, we're going to bring this episode to a close. Uh, join us again for the next Retro Rerun, and thanks for watching.